Salut, mes amis. It's Minui Roo. In under six minutes, I'll show you how I made this display canvas. Where you can hang art, lists, photos, business cards, or whatever else you can think of. In this tutorial, we're going to be using thumbtacks and scissors, which are sharp, so make sure you have adult supervision. Now, let's start painting! For this project, you will need some acrylic paint, maybe some glitter paint, a brush or sponge so you can put paint on your canvas, some mini clothes pins, a non-stretchy string, some thumbtacks, a paint palette, or you can use a paint plate, and a canvas. This canvas already has some random colors on it and it's a little dirty, so it'll be perfect for this project. Since I just cleaned my white table, I'll protect my surface from paint. This paper towel should work nicely. Uh, never mind. Instead, I'm going to use this large placemat. This should work better. First, I map out my colors with a sponge before using a paintbrush to color a pastel rainbow on the canvas. Use whatever colors you'd want in whatever pattern you'd like. I recommend sticking with a simple design as you'll be covering this up with pictures eventually. Go ahead and experiment with different colors and patterns to find what you enjoy. I like to work with either lots of different colors or I'll use different shades of the same color to make a nice gradient across the canvas. Instead of using the sparkle paint I grabbed before, I'm going to make some accents with this gold paint. I make sure to cover the sides of the canvas and highlight these edges. I'm using a sponge to add some texture to the front of this piece, but it's completely optional. Do whatever you'd like. Do you see all the paint that got on my placemat? Well, it's all okay, because my white table's clean, and I can wipe this off later. Now that your canvas is dry, you can admire your masterpiece. I really enjoy the way the gold turned out. I think it looks great. Go ahead and grab your string and lay it over the canvas like this, so you can get a feel for where you want the string to be. I find that laying your string something like this tends to work out pretty well. I did end up adding another string after recording, so just play around with it and figure out what you like. Go ahead and grab out your thumbtacks, so we're going to start measuring for where they need to go. You can either eyeball it or grab a ruler so you can measure from the sides of the canvas to where your thumbtacks will go, so they'll be even on each side. I added three thumbtacks in total, creating a triangle with the string. In the end, I added another thumbtack to create a zigzag on my canvas instead of the original triangle. Just remember, the larger your canvas, the more thumbtacks you're going to have in the end. Although it's hard to see, there's a little dot right here, and I just pushed the thumbtack into that dot. Make sure to leave a little room between the thumbtack and the canvas, that way your string has somewhere to sit. It may be hard to push your thumbtack into the canvas, so you might need to get a hammer. Go ahead and repeat it on the other side. Now all my pins are placed. Luckily, mine are gold and match the border. If yours don't, you can lightly sand them and paint over them. Make sure to use a sealant so that the paint doesn't chip off, and then they'll match your canvas. Time for string! Go ahead and make a loop on one end of your string, and then securely attach it to the pin. You may have to play around with different knots and styles to figure out what works best for you. As long as the string is secure, it'll work great! I gave my string a long tail so I could wrap it around the back side of the canvas and tape it down. Now, all you have to do is wrap the string around the other push pins. Make sure this is pretty tight, that way the clothespins hang nicely on the string. I find that if you wrap the string tightly around the last pin, then you won't even have to tie it. All you have to do is wrap it around the back side of the canvas and tape it down. Now, you can admire your handiwork. I decided to add another string to the top so I can utilize that top left corner. Once you add your clothespins on, you can start adding pictures. You can rearrange your clothespins however you want, that way your pictures fit on your canvas just the way you'd like them to. 
These display canvases make great gifts and can be excellent ways to display your own art. I find that they save space for me because I'm constantly making new art, so I can display new things all the time. Here's a display canvas that I made for myself a while back. It's a little larger and it has more clothes pins on it, so you can fit more art on it. But the small canvas works just as well. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe so you can join the Minwe Roo crew. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. God bless.